How's everybody doing today? So today we're going to be reviewing the DS Cosmetics Z Zero Razor and we'll be announcing the giveaway from last week, so stick around. Hello everyone, GW Smallwood here, the Shaving Disciple. As I mentioned in the intro, I'm going to be reviewing the DS Cosmetics Z Zero, or as I like to call it, the Z Knot razor. Um, it's a stainless steel razor uh, out of China that's a kind of a duplicate uh, clone uh, of the Mula R41 razor. So before we get to that, I'm gonna lather up. So today I'm going to be using Fine Accoutrements uh, Centel Absolute. Uh, I don't have a label or anything. This this puck actually came to me before they started uh, doing them in tubs. So this is actually graded into an old tub I had. So this soap smells really good. Uh, it's it's based off of the Art of Shaving uh, sandalwood soap. So it's a it's a good sandalwood, a little bit on the cologne side, although I, I do get the kind of woodsy notes. I, I actually consider them somewhat earthy. Um, they kind of remind me of kind of a dustiness. So there's there's those notes in there as well. It's, it's, a, it's a really good sandalwood. Um, one of the things I will say about this uh, fine soaps, uh, I have the American blend as well, is there's, there's a distinct scent note to their bases that are similar that you can kind of get through the top notes of the actual fragrances um, so it, it's not bad but it to me makes all of their soaps have kind of a common common scent to them even though they're scented differently with the fragrances so already lathered up in my copper captain's choice bowl for my brush today, I'm going to be using, uh, this is a, a 28 millimeter AP Shaveco Sinbad knot uh, that I set into uh, what is probably a DS Cosmetics handle, but I actually purchased it from Shaveforge, which is a vendor out of Mesa. I've gotten a handful of knots from them and um, got this handle from them. And they actually have quite a few kind of really nice handles if you'd like to set your own knots. So they're worth checking out. I'll, I'll link them below. So let's go ahead and start getting lathered up here. Yeah, it's a really, really good sandalwood scent. It's The scent strength on it is not, not huge. It's there. It's noticeable, but it's, it's probably right around medium. Um, what I will say is you can't you can't really get this soap at the moment. I guess Fine had a problem with one of their vendors, and they shut down the factory where this soap base was being made. So I I'll include a link below. I I do think you can still get it at Small Flower. It looks like they still have some stock. So if you're interested. I'll, I'll include that link below. They may still have it by the time you see this video. But otherwise, everybody is stuck waiting until Fine's new soap base comes out. Um, evidently, they sourced a new base supplier, but I don't think those are actually on the market yet. So it'll be coming. Uh, there's enough people who really like Fine soaps that they're sure to. They're sure to pick it up and make more of them. This soap does create a really good lather. A lot of people, a lot of people compared the lather quality to tobacco, 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 however you want to say it. Um, I, I, it's similar, but it's I don't think it's the same. A lot of people were surmising that. Fine had contracted with the people that actually make Tabak. I don't think that's the case. Um, it, like I said, I find it similar. I don't think it's the same. But it is good quality lather. You can see it's 
Takes a lot of water. You can see a little bit of that sheen. And we're ready to go. So before we get going with the actual shave, I did a giveaway last week. So we had about 20 people, a little over 20 people enter. And I drew the winner this morning. And the winner of the blade sampler is Artemisia Absinthium. So uh, I have my email link in the description of this video. So shoot me an email at tsd at gwsmallwood.com and I'll get your address and get those out to you. So congratulations again. Thank everybody who thank you everybody who is subscribing and watching these videos. I really appreciate that. So let's get going with the Z Knot Razor. So like I said, this is a Mula R41 clone. Uh, it's stainless steel out of DS Cosmetics. Um, I'll, I'll show up some pictures. I have paired it with my Razor Rock barber pole handle because that is the handle I typically use with my R41. So I wanted to kind of have it as similar as possible. Um, I've got a Persona Red blade in there. That's what I've been using a lot lately. Um, I'll probably do a side by side with my R41 sometime soon, but I. I haven't used my R41 in a while because I purposely wanted to make sure I was kind of judging this just based on its own merits. Um, so let's see how it goes. I got, I actually have quite a bit of growth. I've got about four days of growth. Um, you can kind of see on my sideburns there. I got a lot. We had a, we had a busy week this week and I missed my opportunity to shave midweek. So I decided, well, since we were breaking out this beast here, we kind of let it go. So let's see how it goes. Definitely blade feel. It is not chattering. So the blade is held securely. One thing I will say is for a CNC machined razor, there's probably a little bit more movement in the top cap and the blade and the way it sits with in alignment with the base plate. Um, there's probably a little bit more movement there than there should be. It's not terrible. I have had that same problem to a much greater extent with my fat tip razors and uh, a Shoney, which is made by the same company. And this one isn't nearly as bad as either of those, but you do have to pay a little bit of attention when you're loading the blade. So yeah, this is, this is quite a bit of blade feel. Um, my guess is it's probably a little bit more than my R41. Um, it, so far, it's fairly smooth even with all that blade feel. So what I heard on the forums that made me want to give this one a try is that, oh, and by the way, thank you to uh, the member at the Damn Fine Shave Forum that I actually bought this from. It was a really good price, so I, I did buy this second hand. Um, but what I heard on the forums about this razor was that it was in aggression somewhere between the 2013 R41, which is the one I have, that's the one most people can buy today. It was somewhere between the aggression of that and the 2011 R41, which is Pretty notorious for being one of the most aggressive safety razors out there. I've never tried a 2011, but I have tried 
um, a company called Aimsport was making some, sorry, phone call. Um, a company called Aimsport was making some 3D printed top caps that were meant to approximate what the 2011 R41 felt like. Uh, the one I bought was called a Spitfire cap. I think you can still get them online. Um, I have tried those and it was definitely more aggressive than the 2013 R41, but it was not comfortable for me for a couple of reasons. The, the cap I got wasn't finished very well, had kind of a rough edge on one side of the top cap. And because it was 3D printed material being paired with a stainless steel or brass handle, there was a lot of flex in the top cap. You had to be very, very careful not to over tighten it. And then because it was 3D printed material, it also It also uh, had a lot of blade chatter, which I did not like. So I will say this, I think, does feel similar to that. It is, I, I, first, first thoughts are it's probably more aggressive than an R41, uh, the 2013 version. Um, I, I also had a, an Icon Tech for a while that's also mentioned in conjunction with the earlier version of the R41 in comparison to aggressiveness. And that razor also had a little bit too much blade chatter for me. It was, it just felt really tuggy to me. Um, so I ended up selling that because I didn't enjoy it near as much as my R41. It might have also been, I think those icon techs were aluminum, so it might have also been the weight to the razor that I, I just didn't like. Um, I, I haven't had a whole lot of good luck with aluminum razors. They, they tend to be too light in the head and it makes me want to use more force than I probably should be. So. This razor, I would say if you like, if you like the efficiency of the Icon Tech, but you don't like the blade chatter, and you want something with a little bit more weight, this is probably worth checking out. Um, so one of the things I didn't mention was the cost. So. This is out of DS Cosmetic, which is a Chinese company that you can find their stuff on AliExpress. And thus far, they've been kind of more in the brush market. Uh, but they're starting to branch out into razors and razor handles. And it retails for around $58. Normally, but when I looked the other day, they were actually on sale down to around $32. So that's $32 for a stainless steel razor. Now, I will say that the, uh, the finish on the razor between the top cap and the base plate isn't great. So I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, camera's not wanting to focus. Uh, this, this is, I'm pretty sure this is plated on top of the stainless steel. The, the polish is just, it's a little too high, I think. And the marks between the, 
the top cap and the base plate kind of look like poor plating. They don't look like machine marks, although this is CNC machined. So, if you're looking for something that is pristine inside and out, this is not the razor for you. If you're looking for something that looks good when it's fully assembled and is a, an affordable stainless steel that has quite a bit of aggression and efficiency, it's worth checking out. Especially at that sale price if it's still sitting there for around $32. Now this came with a larger and heavier stainless steel handle on it. I prefer handles in the kind of 75 to 85 millimeter range. That one I believe is a 90 millimeter and it's a pretty big diameter so it's a really heavy handle. And um, honestly, if I could, if I could have my choice, all of my handles would be very similar in size, shape, and weight to my Fat Boy. That to me just fits in my hand perfectly. The balance is great. So I'm not a big fan of the bigger handles. So this uh, this razor, if I keep it, will get paired with something a little bit more fitting. It's definitely a little bit more aggressive feeling than the R41. Like I said, there's no blade chatter though. So it's definitely got more blade feel without losing any of the blade rigidity. So far, good shave, smooth. Like I said, the fact that I had to pay a little bit of close attention to the alignment of the blade isn't affecting the shave at all. It, it, like I said, it wasn't that difficult. Um, lather dried up on me a little bit, so I'm gonna loosen that up and Rinse it a little bit. Um, so the blade didn't end up crooked. Um, it feels like this exposure on both sides was fairly even. Just gonna do a little spot check here. I mean, my that feels that feels really really good. That was a that was a single pass with the grain all the way around, and I mean that's. It's about as close a shave as I ever get, even going across the grain with certain razors. So let's go ahead and see, let's see how this feels on the face. I know a lot of razors that feel okay on my, on my head, they'll tug more when it gets to my face. Um, like I mentioned, I did have laser treatments on my head, so while I do still have a lot of hair, uh, particularly around the sides and back, it's much thinner hair. Um, whereas my face, my facial hair is still super, super thick. So I, I suspect that's why razors tend to feel quite a bit different when I get to my face. So the other thing I didn't mention, um, and I wanted to try and be better about, um, you know, I always enjoy CDB's, uh, Chris's soap cost analysis. And I, I tend to agree with the scale he uses, which, you know, he ranks things um, excellent, good, fair, Pricey and painful is his top one. 
So this, uh, when you can get it again, this soap is 3.5 ounces and it they've been retailing for $16, which puts it at about $4.50, $4.57 an ounce, I think, um, which I think is it's good. It's a fair price for what you get. Like I said, it lathers well. Um, this definitely feels a lot more aggressive on my face than it did on my head. Um, this is one I don't think I would want to take across the grain on my face. Mowed down all that hair really, really quickly. So I am planning on doing another giveaway soon. Um, I was planning on the 100 subscriber mark, which I figured would take a little bit longer. But this past week, I got a little Bailey bump. So I am CDB. Gave me a shout out in one of his videos. And his, uh, he's been doing this a lot longer than me, so he's got a significant following that, that decided to follow his advice and check me out. And thanks, Chris, for that. I appreciate it. Um, so I'll probably be hitting that 100 subscriber mark a little sooner than I had originally planned, but I was planning on doing another giveaway then. Like I said, I've got, doesn't feel too bad on my neck so far. Um, I've had a lot of people be generous to me throughout my six years in this hobby. So I'd like to do the same. You know, when you've been doing it for six years, and you've built up a bit of a collection, it's not a big deal to buy one new soap, one new aftershave, things like that every once in a while. But I understand when you're first starting out and you don't know yet what you like or what's going to work best for you, there's a lot of stuff to try. And it can be expensive to do that. So if I can help anybody out by giving away some stuff, I want to try and do that. Okay. So, my neck feels okay. Like I said, definitely, definitely a lot of blade feel, but didn't tear me up or anything. Wasn't tuggy. So, yeah. Pretty good shave all in all. I'll uh, hit the shower, which is where I'll really be able to tell how close it actually got, and I'll come back and see you guys for post shave. All right, we're back for post shave. So the results were very, very good. Very smooth shave. No nicks, no cuts, no weepers. Uh, for post shave today, I'm gonna be using Fields of Ambrosia, their Renaissance Man line, um, bourbon sandalwood. So it's very bourbon forward, which is not a bad thing. It's a really good scent. Alcohol free splash. Um, I think it's four ounces for around 15 bucks. Uh, uh, Fields of Ambrosia. It's good, good stuff. Uh, so, my thoughts on the Z Knot or Z Zero Razor. So, if you can find it for that $32 sale that I just mentioned I saw recently, 
I think it's definitely worth a pickup. It's hard to beat a stainless steel razor for 30 bucks. Now at its original $58 price point, um, unless you're looking for something that is in between the R41 and the Icon Tech in aggressiveness, I would say you're better off looking at the Razor Rock or maybe even the Carb Razors at that kind of $60 price point. Uh, I think you're going to get a better quality, better finished, better toleranced razor at that price point. But if you like aggressive and you are looking for something that's maybe a little bit more efficient than the R41 without feeling quite as dangerous as the Icon Tech, then I think this is definitely worth checking out at either price point. I got a really good shave out of it. I did have to be mindful because there is a lot of blade feel. Um, but like I said, no nicks, no cuts, no weepers. All right, we're going to finish off with some Cooper & French Fair Isle Harbor aftershave balm. Uh, so I'll... I'll continue using this as well as the R41 for probably a week, maybe two, and then, then I'll do a side-by-side. -side. And we'll see in a head-to-head -head how this thing compares to the 2013 R41. Alright, I'm going to finish up off-camera with some St. Pierre Beard Oil. Um, that's, that's uh, one that works for my skin. I've been back to using that and my complexion has cleared up. I haven't gotten any bumps, so I think it was the beard oil that was kind of causing me problems there. So back to St. Pierre's, which is one that I have used often. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Again, uh, Artemisia absinthium. Send me an email and I will get that blade sampler out to you. Um, if you guys want to see more uh, giveaways, then keep those subscriber counts coming up because I have quite a few planned for my different uh, subscriber uh, award data points. So again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.